It's the little things that count. And as an archaeologist, sometimes we find these little things in the ground, and they change the way that we view the world around us. The colonization of the Americas refers to the first time that Native American populations migrated into the Western Hemisphere. This is a big thing. But what I do is I look for the little stuff they left behind, and I try to recreate this amazing story. We actually thought we had it figured out. See, Native Americans, they came from Asia, and they traveled into Alaska via the Bering Land Bridge about 15,000 years ago. They, they dug deep into Alaska. They just, they just went in, and all of a sudden, they were stopped in their tracks. They halted. They looked in front of them, and they saw a mile-high ice sheet that covered the entirety of Canada, a little bit of the northern United States, but it definitely wasn't traversable. So they stepped back. They caught their breath, and they waited. And as the earth began to warm, the ice sheet began to melt. And as it began to melt, a little opening appeared in front of them. So they peeked. And then they blasted through it like a running back who's following a hole in the line. And once they got through the glacial defense and into the open field that was native North America, they couldn't stop sprinting. They hopped over the Rocky Mountains and skated across the Great Plains. And when a woolly mammoth started charging at them, they didn't even sweat. They just pulled out a spear and put it between the bee's eyes before they toasted to a successful hunt. This is what we thought. This is what the data told us. We knew that this little corridor in the ice sheet opened around 12,000 years ago. We knew that we had widespread human population in the continental United States in northern Mexico 11,500 years ago. It was perfect. It made sense. But a new sight came upon the horizon. Monte Verde is spectacular. And the most remarkable and dramatic find in Monte Verde is a tiny, actually really adorable, child's footprint. A child's footprint that's 12,000 500 years old, 1,000 years older than anything we had ever found in the Americas. And what's more, Monte Verde is on the coastal plain of Chile, 8,000 miles from the entry point to the New World. When I'm mulling this over in my head, I consult my version of this hypothetical little girl who made this footprint. And for whatever reason, I think of her as a really wise eight-year-old. And she looks at me and she says, Drew, keep hypothesizing. Maybe we came down the coast. Maybe you're wrong about your ice-free corridor. Maybe it was open way earlier. Drew, keep digging. Look for my cousins. Look for my ancestors. Try and get lucky. Drew, keep taking baby steps. You'll figure me out. Thank you. <laughs>